Let's try it. Oh no. Oh no no. <laughs> everybody it's your girl Merle and we're gonna be doing another ranking video today you guys seem to like the vegan mac and cheese ranking video that I did it was fun it was cute I was a little vicious but you know what here's my thing I don't want to tear vegan brands down but I do want to be honest and that's all I got all I can do is be honest so we're gonna be doing another one today and this time we're gonna be ranking vegan burgers. Not veggie burgers, vegan burgers. And I know veggie burgers can be vegan burgers, but I'm talking about imitation meat burgers. Veggie burgers will be their own video. I don't want the garden burgers for this. I want imitation meat. So with that, let's go over our ranking system. We're gonna be doing the same typical S, A, B, C, D style tier ranking. S being like, is this even vegan? You know, hard to tell the difference, it's so convincing. A being like, I would add this to my rotation, you know, I would add this to my rotation of dishes. So B is not a burger, but not bad. It's good for what it is. You know, it doesn't taste like a real burger, but it still tastes good. You got something going on and we like it. C is there's an imposter among us. Something tastes weird. Like if I were to give it to a friend who's not vegan and they took a bite, they'd be like, oh, of course, this, this, is this what vegan burgers taste like? And then finally D, the vegans have gone too far. The vegans have gone too far. And listen, I know I'm holding this to the standard of like tasting like real meat. And that is not to say that like animal product meat is better than vegan meat. It's just for a lot of people that are transitioning over to a plant-based diet, they want something that tastes like animal meat. And that's the whole purpose of these imitation burgers, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, they're purposely trying to make them taste like meat. So just saying, I'm not saying meat meat is better. The standards by which we will be judging these burgers are price, overall taste, the visual likeness to animal meat, and a few other things. You know, I'll tell you the calorie count. Let's see, is that everything? Oh, and lastly, I'm gonna be cooking these fresh for you. We're gonna do this one at a time. That way I'm eating it fresh from the griddle because sometimes vegan things don't sit well. The mac and cheese was kind of a good example of that, but whatever, we live, we learn. With that, I say we get right into it. Okay, so the first one we're gonna start with is the Dr. Prager's Perfect Burger. 20 grams of protein in this bad boy. It's gluten-free and it's vegan, so overachiever. It says soy-free, four different types of veggies, great on the grill. We don't have a grill, but good to know. So this comes with two servings per container, so two burgers, and it's 230 calories per serving. This one was $5.12. 256 per burger. That was quick math. I hope somebody out there is impressed. I also hope that was right. Let's cook this bad boy up, shall we? Let's see what the doctor orders today. Okay, for the cooking part, we're switching over to my phone, vlog style, because it's easier for me that way. Um, and also so I can actually use my stove top, so. There you have it. Here's a good question. How many times will I reheat up in the microwave the same cup of tea? We're on the third time for today. This is what they look like. Looks pretty meaty to me. Cover and cook for approximately 11 minutes. Uncover, flip, and cook for an additional 10 minutes. That's a 20 minute cook. I like my burgers on the rare side, even the Impossible Burgers and Beyond Burgers, which people really should see the reactions I get in restaurants when I ask for that. But they're better. They're still better that way, even if it's plant-based version. I'm gonna do what they say, just so, you know, follow directions. There's even like bloodiness happening here. For those of you who don't like that, sorry, but what the heck? Oh, baby. Ooh, that looks good. There she is. It looks pretty good. I'd say it looks just like a real burger. I feel like I can see the gluten. Although it's gluten free, so no, I can't. And soy free. What do they make this thing with? I'm gonna try it without the bun. Wow, that's pretty good. Let me get a little ketchup. Not moldy, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh yeah, I would say it's like a seven out of 10, maybe 7.5. Texture, it's a little bit bouncy. It doesn't quite melt the way that beef 
burgers would, but I'd give the texture like a, a seven as well. And then, you know, for the price, I feel like it's not too bad. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna say for this one, I'm gonna give it an A. I'm gonna say, put this and add it to the rotation. I would definitely get this again. I wanna eat more, but I have so many burgers to eat, so I need to not do that. I wanna freeze this little puck, add it to a saute later. All right, so next up, I've got fries, the big fry burger. Never had this one either. So the fry burger was $4.99. This one is vegan and non-GMO. It comes with two patties. One patty is 170 calories. It has 22 grams of protein. Damn, you should have that on the front of this. That's something to brag about. Let's upsell that. That's a good feature. Let's do it. So this is what patties look like when they come out of the package. These burgers, you have to let them thaw out first, it says. That's kind of lame. It says thaw in the refrigerator for at least two hours or place burgers on microwave safe plate. Oh, smells like bologna. One thing that's annoying about many of these is just the packaging. Like there's a lot of packaging in this. And also like now that I've opened it and used one, I have to like use more effort to like save this one in Tupperware or people would probably use plastic bag. It's annoying. Uh. Brief moment to just have a cute kitty second break here. Oh, look at a little girly. I cooked it exactly how they told me to. It's got a nice bounce to it. Kind of looks like a, a sausage patty, like a breakfast sausage patty. It smells like bologna. Mm. Mm. There's a weird aftertaste going on. Almost like a perfumey aftertaste. I like the texture because it's kind of crispy on the outside and then soft on the inside. It tastes a lot like a, a a breakfast sausage patty. It doesn't taste like a burger at all. I, I don't think this is gross. I actually think this could be good on like a breakfast sandwich. If you did like a just egg patty and then you use this and some vegan cheese and stuff, but it's not a burger. I think I have to give it a C. There's an imposter among us. Only reason being, there's a weird perfumey aftertaste that like hits the back of your mouth. Cause as soon as the aftertaste hits you, you're like, huh. Wait a minute, do I swallow? I don't mind that it tastes like a sausage patty. That's kind of fine with me. I mean, I like the way it smelled. I like the texture of it. It's not exactly like beef, but it was still good. But that aftertaste, that perfumey aftertaste, it sucks, cause the rest of it I like. Next up, we've got the 365 plant-based burger. So this is Whole Foods plant-based burger. Cholesterol free, I didn't know that was possible. 10 grams of protein per serving and you are only 80 calories, four servings per container. Damn, that's lower calories and that's more freaking burgers and it is $4.19. That freaking Amazon money, man, it's making these things cheap, but we do love a good deal. So this contains soy, it contains gluten. I'm impressed that there's four in here and it's only $4.19. That's a dollar a patty. Again, at what cost? Amazon, at what cost? Oh, patties themselves don't look great. The patties look like little like felt circles you can buy to put under your furniture so you don't scratch the floor. But hey, nothing looks good frozen. I wouldn't look good frozen, I'm sure of it. Let's head over to the old grill stove and vlog it up. All right. Okay. This looks way more like a burger than it did at the start. It's also giving me slightly sausage patty vibes, but definitely burger vibes too. Underdog coming through. That Bezos money. This looks pretty damn good. We got the Bezos burger here. I say that because Amazon acquired Whole Foods. Don't know if you knew that. That's why the prices have been dropping. Okay, the cut is good. The texture seems good. It smells like a Beyond burger, honestly. Jeffrey Bezos, you did it. God damn it, Bezos. I mean, he flew a freaking to space. Why shouldn't we think he could pay someone to make a really good vegan burger? Damn it. I don't wanna give this man more publicity. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need more money. He has too much money. The burger is delicious. I had it without any ketchup, not even on the bun. I'll try it with some ketchup on the bun. Something tells me I'm gonna like it. The bun is just slowing the burger down. Dude, I hate that I love this, but the texture is great. I hate that I love you so. It delivers on texture. It delivers on flavor. The price, ah, oh, I hate to do it. 
I gotta give it the S. I gotta put it in the S category. You know what? I gotta do it. Because you know what? The S category shouldn't just be, it tastes so much like meat, I can't believe it. We have to look at the whole comprehensive story we're telling here. It's affordable, so more people could probably get it. It's accessible, because it's in Whole Foods, which I'm not saying is accessible to everyone, but it's more widespread than a lot of other stores, also because of capitalism. Jeffrey Bezos aside, is a good burger. I would get these again for sure. What's next in the freezer? Wicked Kitchen. Wicked. I'm from Massachusetts. I actually do say that. I didn't know it was weird until somebody told me that saying wicked is like wicked weird. I like it. Whoa, baby. These are some mighty fine looking frozen patties just for visuals on the frozen patties. Most of these things look like cat vomit in puck form. These ones look good. Perfectly circular. They don't really get points for this. I'm just impressed. Non-GMO. Cost $5.99 for two patties, 210 calories per patty, and 11 grams of protein. Let's cook one of these up. Okay, so I know the Bezos burgers were like a dollar each. They're also very thin. This patty is thick as heck. Let's get into this big boy. It looks like, this is like, looks like a craft burger. You know what I mean? Like I can see the pieces of jalapeno in there, maybe other veggies too, but it also looks meaty and thick. Like I feel like this is like a hipster burger. Like this burger should have a mustache. You know what I mean? And like, I could probably indulge in this with like a craft beer. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but. Whoa, it's definitely spicy. It smells, and I don't like saying this, but it smells a little bit like one of those Beggin strips. The texture is nice. It's a little soft, but the outside crisps up. Intense flavor, and not just like spicy flavor, like they poured seasonings into this. You don't need to put anything else on the burger. I feel like this could just stand alone. You don't even need a bun. You just eat this with your hands like I am right now. Is the flavor good? It's almost too much, like a brother that wears too much cologne. It's a little overpowering. It would probably be delicious with some melted vegan cheese on a nice IPA, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. You know what? I'm gonna say not a burger, but not bad. Like it doesn't taste really anything like even an imitation vegan burger, let alone a beef burger. But the texture's not bad and it's very flavorful. I'm close to giving it imposter among us because of all the flavor in this, like it's a lot, but you know what, it's tasty. So if you like really spicy, you like really powerful, bold flavor, go for this because the texture's good. Gardein. Every time I see Gardein, I can't help but think of Goldine. Gardein, 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 Gardein. We've done this before. The plant-based bleh. Burger. Why did they do that? Why is it B E apostrophe F? B if? B if? What? But hey, that's not gonna dock points. I won't hold it against you. Just a weird choice. So we've got here 130 calories, 14 grams of protein, four burgers in here. This one was only $3.59. That's a pretty good deal right there. Oh, wow, the patties are just loose raw dogging in there. I like that, less packaging. I mean, it's still a plastic bag, but it's resealable. And this way, they're not individually packaged. You can take one out, reseal the bag, less waste. Frozen patty looks good. Actually looks like a burger. Let's grill you up. Damn, look at you. Okay, this looks pretty good. All right, so this ended up looking like a burger. Definitely looks like a burger. Actually, the look is pretty spot on, I gotta say. Let's see what Gardein's got up their sleeve. It's a little dry. I would say the texture's a little tougher. It does taste like a very, very well done burger. Like well, 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 well done. It's fine. You would definitely need to dress this up a lot. Granted, like a lot of well done burgers taste like nothing to me. It's very chewy. The Bezos burger, the 365, it at least had like a softness to it. So when you bit into it, there was like a nice kind of moist chew slash crunch on the outside. This is just like dry. 
I mean, it's cheap. It's definitely inexpensive. I wouldn't necessarily add this to my rotation because I already know there are other burgers I like more. I might give it a B. I'm not saying it's not a burger because it does. It just tastes like a really over well done burger, but like, I don't like it enough that I would buy it again, even though it's pretty inexpensive. Next up, we've got Hungry Planet Beef Patties. No cholesterol, saturated fat, 22 grams of protein per serving, has four patties in it, 150 calories per serving. Cool, and I like the packaging because they're loose, loose in there so it's less plastic. Let's make it a little unsightly, but it's frozen. Nobody looks good frozen, except for that uh, Wicked Kitchen Burger. Cook four minutes per side. Cover and cook, easy, love it. Whoa. It looks pretty meaty. It doesn't look like a real burger, honestly, but it looks fairly promising. Let's try it. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh, <laughs> what is that? What the heck did I just eat? It has a very strong pepper flavor, like, like, like somebody dumped two cups of black pepper or used my giant pepper mill and grinded over the mixture for like a half an hour. And then what is that aftertaste? Anyone else do this when they're trying to get a flavor? You know, you're like trying to use your nose and your taste buds. Oh, there's probably a word for it. What is that called? Alexa, what's it called when you use your nose to taste something? Sorry, I don't know that one. Great. It's almost like a burnt rubber aftertaste. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I feel bad because like, I wonder, like these got really frozen in my freezer, but that should ruin the texture. And actually the texture's not that bad. The texture's like kind of nice. It's like kind of juicy and moist. The texture I like, the flavor, pepper and rubber. I don't dig it. Not even a little bit. I'm, I, 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 I don't like to be a hater. I don't. I don't like this burger. I gotta say, dude, I think, I think the vegans have gone too far with this one. I, I can't, I couldn't even finish it. I spit it out. Vegans have gone too far. The vegans have gone too far. <sighs> Sprouts Farmer's Market, the grocery store. Original Griller veggie burgers. Four soy burgers. 100 calories, nine grams of protein. Okay, 5.99. Let's see what's cooking. These are looking very, very felt circular things. These look exactly like the Bezos burgers. Looks good, thin. I like this, that's good. So this one's not as dry as the Gardein one, but it does have similarities with it. It's not going the extra mile in my opinion, but it does taste like a well done burger, which again, not my favorite. I like a juicy raw freaking burger. This just tastes like seitan, which is basically what it is. I like it. The outside's got a little sweetness. I don't know if I would add this to the rotation because I've liked previous ones better than this. Like I like the, the Bezos burger and I like the Dr. Prager's burger better, burger better. I'm gonna say, not a burger, but not bad. It's all good. Like, and it does kind of taste like a burger. Again, it tastes kind of like a well done burger. You could doctor it up, probably make it sing a nice little tune. On its own, it's really nothing special, in my opinion. All right, we've got two more. And I saved these last two on purpose because it's the Beyond Burger and the Impossible Burger. I have not had the new Beyond formula since they changed it like six months ago or something like that. I don't know, maybe longer. I figured I should save these two for last because I feel like they're like the new standard and I didn't want to be too harsh on the other ones. All right, we're getting down to the wire here. We've got the Beyond Burger, which I have a feeling you've probably heard of before. So the price of this varies depending on where you're gonna get it. I mean, that really goes for all of these, so maybe don't like hold the prices so high over some of the heads of these burgers. I found it for $4.49 and then I saw it for $6.99. It really depends on where you're getting it. It's 20 grams of plant protein, no soy, no gluten. Oh, gluten-free, I didn't realize that. 230 calories per serving. This is a hefty burger. I can already see the white little flecks of fat in the frozen patty, I like that. I was a big meat fat person, raw and fatty. That was my motto back in my meat eating days. Zibuga! Zibuga! Name that movie. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like 
Q by Brie the Burger. The Burger! Whoa, baby. Okay, I mean, this looks freaking good. Frankly, I love the look of this. I like how it cooks similarly to actual meat. Like, it, it starts pink and then you can actually kind of decide how rare you want it to be, which I think is cool. I mean, that's freaking good. Like the Hungry Planet one, there was like no saturated fat. Some of these are going for the healthy angle, but if I want a burger, like an imitation burger, I don't care if it's healthy. I want a burger. I've said it before and I'll say it again with Beyond Burger. I think they almost have their own like category of flavor. They've differentiated themselves from Impossible Burger. And some people don't like the distinct flavor. I love it. I love it. The texture is spot on. The flavor is just like delicious. Like you don't need to add anything to this. It's so juicy. I'm eating it plain. I don't even have any ketchup on it yet. This is a well-known one for a reason and it's it kills it. I hate to be like predictable, but Beyond Burger fucks. Honestly, I'm gonna put this in the S category. I love Beyond Burger. I'm like, this is to me, a, this is pretty freaking perfect. I like how thick it is. I love it. Can't lie, I freaking love it. I'm gonna really try to restrain myself from eating this other half. I ate the whole thing. Oops. One more burger. It's getting dark. Let's make it. You know what it is. You already know what it is. The Impossible Burger. The name on everybody's lips. These frozen patties have the fat pockets too, but they look more convincing, honestly, than the Beyond Burger even do. Those could make a vegan cry. 19 grams of protein, slightly less than the Beyond Burger. Zero milligrams of cholesterol. Two patties, 240 calories. And the Impossible Burger goes for $5.99 for two patties. That's expensive. That's $3 a patty. Did you get that? $3 a freaking patty. This looks frighteningly like meat. What I love about the Impossible Burger is not the price. It's definitely expensive, but what I love is that you can actually make it like well done, medium rare or rare. Granted, you don't want it to be like so undercooked that it's like dangerous, but you can definitely make this like fully cooked and still have some pink in the middle. And that to me is just mwah. So let's see old friend, how have you been? This is meat, like this is a burger. It's better than a burger, but goddamn, dude, they do not play. This could fool someone in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. I like this more than I ever used to like actual hamburgers. It's just freaking, it's just delicious. But I try not to eat a lot of these like imitation processed foods anyway. So for me, for a treat, I always buy Impossible Burger, if I'm honest. S, 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 S. I kind of knew it going in because I, I already love Impossible. Thank you guys so much for watching this ranking video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I would love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Please, if you'd like to suggest my next ranking video, go to my Instagram, at Merle Shea, and that's where I do my call outs for brands, whatever brands you want me to test for, you know, whatever the subject might be. So let me know. And I have a Discord if you want to go and talk to this beautiful, incredible, fun, funny, wonderful community. Product recommendations, just hanging out, living life. It's a great group of people. So anyway, I'll be seeing you soon. Hope you're doing well. Sending you a big hug. Mwah. Ciao for now.